Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings and today I am going to be doing your daily for July 16th, 2022. I don't usually do dailies on the weekend, but since I haven't done them in a while, I feel like I will. Man, when one nail pops off, they all just start popping off. It's crazy. You can have them on forever and then all of a sudden they just start going. <laughs> so yeah, this is for, did I say June? I meant July, right? Okay. <laughs> all right, here we go. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guys and Angels, please allow me to leave a clear message here for the Aries Collective. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What does Aries need to see here for this daily for July 16th, 2022? July 16th, 2022. Thank you. I wish I could take back my words. Mm, so someone is regretting what they said. I feel like I'm hearing someone is eating their words now. We've got negative energy and spiritual blockages came out, slid out. So I'm going to take it. I'll pull one more from this set. Somebody is eating their words. They said something here that now they feel like they regret. Um, and they probably cannot figure out a way to get out of whatever it is that they said. Okay, this person has negative energy and spiritual blockages. Okay, so that could explain why they would say something that they regret. I mean, obviously, that's not people can do it without negative energy and spiritual blockages, but somebody was in a very negative energy here when they said this. What else do we have? Ooh, I'm still a snake and I haven't changed. A direct message to you from your person's energy. Wow, pregnancy at the bottom of the deck. Upcoming news or thoughts or symptoms of having uh, or being pregnant. Goodness. So I'm still a snake and I haven't changed, which explains why they are still in this very negative energy. I feel like this negative energy may be some sort of punishment for the way that they've acted and treated possibly you and others. Okay. Because I'm hearing and others. Oh, we have passion. Insane chemistry, like each other equally, and having fun. Let's get one more card here. Mm, a lot of cards are trying to come out. Just one. Okay, we got two. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, and falling in love. And then we have camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, and making memories. Give us one more card here for Aries. And we have trust. <laughs> well, damn, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, Aries. You have to use your intuition here. I feel like somebody here may be trying to come back in to woo you um, because they regret what they've said, okay? They're eating their words, and so they're coming back in with some heavy passion. I think they're trying to get a feel for the situation or, you know, what, where, what state of mind you're in here with this camera because they're definitely watching, um, but they're also reminiscing and missing your energy. Okay. I, I feel like I'm going to pull one of these as well. Okay. Let's get one card here. Mm. Yep, we have failure. Okay, so it was in reverse. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So someone's going to try to come back in and say, hey, I've learned from my mistakes. You know, I am better. I'm changed now. Can we do this over again? Or they're realizing they've failed miserably and trying to have a relationship with you. So they're wanting to come in and fix this. Okay. So let's see here. What do we have here for Aries? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising for this daily. This daily energy. What do we have here for Aries? Oh, we have the Nine of Cups. Someone is desiring you heavily, Aries. Okay. Looking at you as a wish fulfillment. I'm also seeing that you are satisfied where you're at. 
you are completely satisfied where you're at okay the challenge here is the page of cups okay somebody has a message of love possibly an um, apology but it's like I see the fish in this this cup like when fishes fly like so you're not sure if you can trust this offer of love or apology or emotion the um, advice from spirit here is the four of swords the king queen of swords at the bottom of the deck so spirit is like no continue to heal continue on your path on your journey don't even give anybody here a, a bite um, from you you know what I'm saying don't even give them an inch and the outcome is the sun mm, love this and the first the next 48 not the first 48 the sun came out twice so Aries you are really in this beautiful divine energy happiness prosperity abundance new beginnings positivity this is in a very light energy here because look at this you're, you're not you're getting this nine of cups you're having everything that you want is being attracted to you i feel that you've removed a negative attachment or somebody here who had negative attachments or entities that you were attached to and removing them from your life has like literally released the flow or have this flow of abundance coming towards you it's coming in all right let's clarify here all right what do we have here for the nine of cups Ooh, aries four of wands four of wands and the nine of cups bitch <laughs> this is a big star. you are happy <laughs> i didn't mean to call you out your name aries you are happy. That's how I talk. If you're from New Orleans, you know we say, bitch, it's a term of endearment, okay? This is the only place we call each other bitches, and it means, like, girl, like, okay? So, yeah. Bitch, you are happy. You are happy. I feel like some of you here are just happy with yourself. Now, the Four of Wands could be a union. You could be in a very beautiful connection here, something that you've been wanting and desiring for a long time. But overall, Aries, you're happy and satisfied where you're at in life, period, okay? Period. All right. This is beautiful. This is not the energy currently. This is where you're going. This is where you're headed, okay? Love this for you. What is the challenge here with the Page of Cups? Aries, this is the second reading. And the Page of what? Okay, page of cups at the bottom of the deck, and then the sun. Wow. Wow. I'm going to go back and clarify that again. Um, damn. Somebody is seeing you happy, and that is what's making them reach out. Like, they can almost feel that you're in just this beautiful energy, and it's they're wanting to offer you some sort of message here of love. Okay. Kind of like sneaky about it too because as i'm seeing here this particular card the girl has her hand behind her back as she's offering this cup so like if someone is messaging you they are already hiding something like even if they're saying hey what's up how you doing they already got something up their sleeve okay let's see here what is the advice from spirit eight of wands clarifying so the eight of wands is clarifying the four of swords I feel like spirit is saying continue to heal, right? Continue continue to heal from this situation because you have a lot of other opportunities coming towards you. A lot of positive opportunities or communication coming in towards you. What's the sun here? The chariot. Man, this is you guys have been Ooh, maybe it's this full moon energy that has cleared out a lot of this negative stuff. Right? Because the last reading I did, you had the sun come out twice and now it's twice again. Aries, wow, you're moving into an amazing new direction, an amazing new life, new chapter is starting for you. This is absolutely beautiful. And see, the thing is, someone is watching this. Someone is seeing this. Listen, I wish I could take back my words like, because I had no idea that you were about to massively glow up like this and leave me behind. And Spirit wants you to say, hey, trust this process. Keep moving forward. Even if you're not in union with someone right now, trust that it's working out for you exactly how it should be because something beautiful is coming in for you. Okay? Let's clarify this sun one more time. Well, thank you. Okay. Four of Cups. 
nine of pentacles and the two of pentacles so yes there is someone in that page of cups is there again that pesky for whatever reason i'm looking at this page of cups like a very pesky page of cups a message here that is very mm, but look whoever this person is that's coming in with the message here you see spirit is wanting you to ignore it they're offering you this cup they're wanting you to ignore this message or even if you acknowledge it not to accept the offer okay because they're like mm -mm, you're gonna miss a really beautiful opportunity if you accept this person's offer okay you have the sun clarifying this so and i'm saying this because aries whoever this is you're in this pre-empress energy or you're just in this you could be single here you could be enjoying your time your period of independence and being by yourself and getting out there having fun enjoying your life okay ready for someone to bring in that one pinnacle you don't want to get tripped up by someone here who made you an option okay you i don't even think you're going to accept that anymore because she's looking away you don't want to get tripped up by someone who juggled you or you know is still in this snake energy let me clarify the chariot yeah You've closed out this cycle, Aries. You're not giving anyone any more chances. You're literally moving on. Some of you could be physically moving or just physically shutting this person out, like blocking them or whatever. But you are totally, this is, you're putting this situation in your past. And the fact that you've closed out this cycle is showing me that you're having a lot more success and happiness in your present moment. So this is absolutely beautiful, Aries. I really don't need to pull any more cards. I just need you to know. I just need you to know how beautiful of a reading this is. Like this is amazing. Okay, I mean, like truly, Aries. I also feel that whoever I'm speaking to, for once, or I don't know why I'm saying for once, but finally, you're getting everything that you deserve and that you want. It's like whatever you think about, you're attracting to you with this Nine of Cups and this Four of Wands. Like you're not lacking, or you're not you're not wanting anything. Because you're not lacking anything here. You have it all. All your desires are coming in. I mean, this is amazing. But this energy up here, negative energy, spiritual blockage, clearly it's not you. I'm still a snake. I haven't changed. And I wish I could take my words back. Yeah, someone is, ooh, they are in deep regret. Reminiscing, okay? <sighs> Can't get in from outside the club. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Take care. Bye.